Hi everyone, this is PRTN Slides and today I'm going to show you how I created this awesome PowerPoint animation. But before that, please do not forget to subscribe, like this video, comment down your suggestions, and do not forget to hit the notification bell for you to become updated on our future PowerPoint animation tutorials, hacks, and premium PowerPoint template giveaways in the future. So this is PRTN Slides, and let us now begin! Alright, so we are starting off with our photo right over here. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is also you need to duplicate this photo. So let's duplicate it and reposition it at the center. Okay, so the next thing that you need to do is to remove the upper part or the upper portion of this image, which is this sky portion and also just Re retain these mountain parts or the lower part of it so just go to picture format and hit remove background and in here you could select the mark areas to keep to mark this portion of this image and just repeat the process until you mark everything um, here also, you could also select these mark areas to remove, to completely remove the sky portion of this image, just like this. So just repeat the process until we achieve our desired result. There you go, I think this looks perfectly good. So just hit keep changes and now you have this edited um, photo of our presentation. So that's how you remove the background or make a transparent image for your um, presentation using your desired photo. The next thing that you need to do is to add text, a bigger text at the middle of um, this um, slide. So let's say dive and um, select your desired font make it color white and just increase the size of it let's say 270 there you go all right now we have our text our big text right over here all right so the next thing that that you need to do is to just send it back backwards Okay, just hit send backward and you should have that and just make it just adjust the text or position it a little bit lower just like this all right so the next thing that you need to do is to duplicate your slide duplicate it and um just increase this um your edited photo make it bigger all right and do not forget to do not forget to also hide the text at the bottom of this okay so for example let's move it here and make let's put it down right over here then reposition again the photo okay just like that okay i think this um looks perfectly good now just switch the first slide to the second slide and you should have this format here on your left side okay so the next thing that you need to do is to also add some text at the upper portion here just just like um um the text that we usually see in in other user interface websites all right, now that we have this, I just copied this from the original um, PowerPoint template that, that I have created earlier. So just paste it again on the first slide and uh, position it at the top of the slide. There you go. And just hit the second slide, go to transition, and select the morph, morph effect. 
okay select the move okay let's see what we have here so far there you go awesome so this is the introductory um part for our presentation uh slide today okay so please before we continue please do not forget to subscribe like this video and comment on your thoughts or suggestion below and do not forget to hit the notification bell okay so now moving on let's just duplicate this second slide Control d and now here on our third slide just remove delete this image edited photo right over here and also this text and now let's put some text right over here like your own content or oh, it is all up to you just try to be creative as much as possible and abide to the proper alignment of the text all right so this is the content that i have made earlier i just copied it and pasted it here on this slide okay and the thing here is that you also need to create this small um transparent white circle right over here to create that, just insert a circle, remove the shape outline of it, and make it color white. Right click on the white circle and go to format shape, go to fill, and just increase the transparency of it. Okay, similar to this smaller, smaller version of it. And position it here on this um, number one, okay? so this one and two circles right over here would um, play its role as like the pages guide for our presentation all right so the next thing that you need to do is to create your fourth slide with different image okay so let's create our fourth slide and let's paste our image and also our text here all right so now we have our fourth slide with different image and also with different con content on it so the thing here is that you need to move this um line here from instead of from home let's try to move it here there you go and okay there you go and you also need to copy this um small um transparent circle here and move it to number two and now just um add your morph transition for this um second slide okay so it's not yet done it's not yet complete the next thing that you need to do here is um if you would like to add a video here on this text just go to um go to insert and go to video and just try to add your video first here on this slide right so now i have this video from stock images here in microsoft 365 the next thing that you need to do here is just to send it backward until you until you position your biggest um, text on the top of it okay so the next thing that you need to do is to select your video hold shift and also select your text right over here and just um inter select the intersect shapes so let's try that there you go now you have um your mask video on on this uh, text right over here there you go now it's all up to you if if you would like to position it on the different spot for an instance right over here okay so just select the video again and also the text and hit intersect shapes there you go just position it back right over here okay then go to playback and hit loop until stop but before that you need to select aut start automatically and look until stop there you go now you have your content for the fourth slide also in your third slide now the last thing that you need to do here is 
to copy the image here on your third slide and then paste it here on your fourth slide and move it here the top of it and then zoom out literally zoom it out and then just stretch the image as far as you can okay so let's say right over here there you go zoom it in again and copy the image here on your fourth slide and then paste it here on your third slide and move it downward downwards there you go make sure perfectly align with your slide zoom it out again and stretch your image downward here you need to select your text this text also this text also these elements here not this one okay not your not your guide here not copy that just i mean do not select that just your main text right over here so let's copy that and paste it here in the fourth on your fourth slide so paste and then move it here on this side okay and also you need to copy your text here on your fourth slide just the main text the main content and not your page guide right over here so let's copy that and paste it here and then move it downward move it downwards okay there you go there you have it okay now since we already have the morph just make sure that all of these have um, the morph transition effect okay all right so the last thing that you need to do is to select your stretch photo for example here on your third slide select this photo your stretch photo right over here and make sure that you send it to the back just select this photo and hit this send backward and hit send to back and do the same thing here on your fourth slide send to back okay now let's check the result of our powerpoint tutorial today and let's see if everything goes according to what we have planned Awesome, that's absolutely perfect and everything went according to what we have planned earlier. And now it is all up to you if you would like to add your own text or images here. Just follow the steps that I have taught you earlier. And don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and hit the notification bell for you to become updated on our future um, PowerPoint animation tutorials, hacks, and PowerPoint premium giveaways in, in the future. Okay, I think this is the end of our video tutorial today. I hope that you've really learned something valuable for this video tutorial. And I really hope that this would help you ace and slay your PowerPoint presentation on your work and academic report presentations. Okay, so please don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you learned something from it. And leave your thoughts and comments or feedbacks under the comment section below okay thank you so much for watching this video tutorial and may you all have a wonderful day ahead god bless and this is prtn slides see you again next time